Paenacio in the Campo Rupestres of Bahia, Brazil, and we've just come across this begonia here, which we've identified as Begonia grisea. It's currently classified in section Pritzilia, and it's a member of a group with stellate hairs to protect it from the relatively dry habitats that this begonia lives in. So this is Begonia umbraculifera, which is one of two peltate species from the Campo Rupestre. This one has completely glabrous leaves, really waxy, shiny leaves, and the other one is Begonia feleriana, which has stellate hairs on its leaves. We've got a new inflorescence on this one, so lots of male flowers, and also some old infructescences with old fruits. And it's here, just in this little small shaded area of the Campo Rupestre, at just under 750 meters. The dry forests just below the Campo Rupestre on Cerro do Orobo in Bahia. And we found this begonia here. It's most similar to begonia grisea, but it's got a lot less waxy surface on its leaves and a lot less dense stellate hairs. We found mainly sterile plants, but also some old infructescences, some old fruits on the ground. And um, we're a bit confused about this plant because it doesn't quite match the description um, because it has an erect stem rather than a prostrate stem, but we think it's still Begonia penobricensis. Right, well, we are here on Tula Pasumpahan near the coast of Padang. Um, and part of this expedition is to revisit localities collected by William Jack, who collected here in Samar in 1820. Uh, all of his collections were destroyed in a ship fire. Uh, the ship was called the Fame. Um, and what I'm trying to do now is recollect some from some of his localities to re get uh, to get types for his the species that, that he described, which weren't many. And um, this is the first one we found. This is Begonia sub lobata. And Jack actually wrote really beautiful descriptions, and as soon as you see it, you recognise it instantly from his descriptions. The way he described the leaves, these wonderful scales on the underside of the leaf, the description of the flowers in the capsules, and there's no doubt this is Begonia sublobata, not been collected for 190 years, and here it is growing in abundance, and it appears to be only on this island. Okay, well we're still following the footsteps of William Jack. The botanist from Aberdeen who came to Sumatra 190 years ago from 1818 to 1822. And we are uh, kind of at the bottom third of Gunung Bengkok, um, a mountain that Jack climbed, which is a type locality for, for a few species, which have not been collected, and certainly no collections have reached Europe from here for, for 190 years. So it's great to be able to see this plant here, which is Begonia bracteata. Uh, which Jack collected and named uh, and published in 1822, but this is another one of his species where all the collections were destroyed in the ship fire. So now we can make a collection of this and hopefully we'll find some flowering material later as well.